Hi guys, in today's video we're going to talk about traditional Filipinas. Do they still exist? Where can you find one? Stick around, we're going to discuss it. Hi guys, another hot day in the Philippines. I mean, it has been record-breaking hot. I mean, I don't remember in the eight years now that I've been here it ever being this hot. <laughs> and I'm a bit nervous actually just to receive my electric bill this month uh, because I know the AC has been working extra hard and we've been going out less because of the heat. So therefore the air con has been running a lot more. So when the uh, electric bill comes, I'm probably gonna have the biggest electric bill I've ever had in my eight years here. And I will share it and maybe even do a video and discuss a little bit about costs and stuff here in the Philippines. But uh, on to the, the video, traditional Filipinas. Now, I guess we should start off by just talking about traditional women. And I think most of us guys, we're at the ages where most of us kind of look back, I guess, at our own childhood and how our moms were. And I think that's kind of uh, plays heavily into it. Uh, I grew up in the 70s, you know, I was born in 71. And even back then, you know, even though traditional women, you think of a traditional wife, most people think back in the 50s, you know, the, the woman stayed at home and she uh, just took care of the household and the children. And, uh, you know, only the father had to go out and work and he'd come home and dinner would be on the table. And, the laundry would be done and all that all that you know it didn't mean there was nothing uh shameful about it you know women weren't embarrassed now it's kind of almost an embarrassment for a woman to say i'm a housewife uh talking to women even in the west they've said oh just to say i'm a housewife is almost like oh you're a housewife you know it's almost like an embarrassment to them oh you're not out working you're not you didn't go and get a degree or you know it's um, in, in here, it's also a, a bit, they really focus, they want you to uh, get an education. But here, it, it's almost opposite. If you're out working and the husband's not taking care of you, it might be a little bit of an embarrassment. And by the way, I'm, I still very much think you can find a traditional wife online. I think it's a lot easier for most people. Uh, you know, you do come across more scammers and things like that. But as far as uh, benefits for going online and using like a dating service, you know, like Christian Filipina versus like dating sites, uh, Christian Filipina, you know, the dating service, you can get on there and they will actually help you. And they really kind of filter through a lot of the women to make sure, that, you know, they're not asking for money or they're not scammers and things like that. And the three benefits of going online is one you could be an introvert and it's hard for you to approach women and, and hard to go out and meet women and the truth of the matter is the majority of the guys out here have met their girlfriends and wives uh, online so a lot of people introverts so it is much easier to to use the dating service two you can really the whole philippines then opens up as a place for finding a good filipina versus maybe just in the city that you're living like if you were living in dumaguete you now have the entire philippines open and maybe even some ofws are working overseas uh, another thing is you can really filter out uh, what you are looking for for example you want a college education woman between certain ages and maybe living in a certain area with kids or without kids you can really just filter through a lot of the things that you don't want and therefore that's why i think a uh, service like christian filipina is really the best bet you can sign up through the link in the description or the pinned comment but back to when i was growing up i i grew up in the household where mom took care of the the kids and mom did the laundry and mom did the cooking and the cleaning and dad well he he worked you know the the full week and one car was enough for the whole family 
Uh, he went outside and did the yard work. You know, I would go out and help my dad. Uh, my sisters would go help my mom inside the house, and that's just kind of the way it was. Uh, things were kind of divided up the way that way. Men would go, you know, the guys would go outside and do the lawn work and all that kind of stuff, and the girls would be on the inside helping with the laundry and things like that. There was no shame in it, you know, but. So I think a lot of us now, we don't want to compete with a woman. We like to be the men, right? We like to be the ones who are making the money, kind of uh, taking care of the family, putting food on the table, and uh, it's, it just seems to work better in a, a, you know, in a relationship where we kind of have gender-specific roles that way. In my opinion, again, is, is it okay for a woman to work? Sure, it, it is. Uh, there's certainly, you, you can hardly get away from that in the West now. You need two incomes, and I think that's kind of the downfall of, of uh, the relationships and marriage in the West. And a whole lot more, and we're not going to get into it in this video, but back to the topic at hand. So, traditional women in the Philippines, yes, they can still be found... And even though on the outward appearance, you may say, oh, she doesn't seem like she's a traditional Filipina. You, a lot of guys think they have to go way out into the province to find a girl who's, um, you know, knows how to cook and clean and do all these things. And I'm still more of, I think we have, us Westerners have a lot more in common with girls who are living and working in the city and maybe they came from the province so in other words they grew up in the province but maybe they came into the city to go to school uh, to work and they still have that province upbringing but they have some worldly knowledge and they just have better command of english and things like that but if you ask the majority of filipinas even if they are working in a call center or have a pretty good job, if you ask them, are you okay being a at-home wife, a stay-at-home wife, you know, to raise the kids and just take care of the uh, household, most are more than happy to do so. It is, uh, they are okay giving up a career or things like that. Now, they're still you're going to find some that don't ever want to do that. They, they are really focused on careers and things like that. But I, again, I think the majority of them are not going to be that way. And most of them are more than willing to give up their careers. So uh, tradi traditional wives, traditional Filipinas, for example, when I met Maya, my first impression wasn't, oh, here's a traditional Filipina. But the more I got to know her and the more I realized that she was more than happy to step into a traditional wife uh, role. Uh, Maya is happy to be at home and take care of my needs. I mean, I've even tried to help out in the kitchen sometimes and she's like, no, 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 you don't, you don't wash dishes properly. No, 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 let me, let me take care of dinner. <laughs> and so uh, she she likes she likes knowing that uh, she takes care of the household the house is is running well because of both of us you know I maybe I take care of the bills and she takes care of everything else and it makes her feel like she's really contributing and I, I love that about Filipinas they want to contribute as much as possible and I think for the most part, Filipinas, and if they are with Filipino gentlemen, as far as uh, partners, then they have to perform that role typically, and they have to take care of the household. So when they do meet a foreigner, they usually get to take a step back and say, wow, now I can really just concentrate on taking care of the household, uh, my husband and the children, if you have any children. And you can also travel and things like that. But Filipinas are actually usually the one who take care of the finances. They kind of do the household budget and take care of the spending and things like that. Now, I 
pretty much do that, but Maya is very much hands-on into things like, oh, let's monitor the um, what we buy at the grocery store. Let's go to the market to buy these fruits and these vegetables. Over here, we can get rice cheaper. Uh, over here, you know, we can get uh, bottled water for 20 pesos uh, for a five gallon versus uh, 35 pesos, just things like that. She really likes to look out. And I think a lot of Filipinas do. They still want to kind of handle the finances. That's kind of a role that they have traditionally done anyway. So again, traditional Filipinas, I don't feel like you necessarily have to go way out into the province like most vloggers and most uh, people will tell you. You want to get out into the province. And I don't know, for me, I'm actually, I have found just in my time dating here in the Philippines that I had much, much less in common with girls who were way out in the province. Like I just couldn't really relate. Most of them just haven't been out of even their little barangay. Uh, they haven't been out of, uh, they have no worldly experience. Their English level was lower. And versus dating girls who have maybe came from the province and lived in the city, to me, that's the best scenario. Uh, even OFW sometimes are a good uh, scenario as well. But they seem to be the best ones because they have better English skills. They have a little work experience. They kind of have handled the budget a little bit versus a girl who lives at home in the province. She hasn't really had to deal with that. And so uh, I think all you guys should rethink, let me head to the province to find a good traditional wife. Uh, don't let that fool you. I'm not saying you can't find a great woman in the province. I've, I've met girls in the province that were spoke English well and, and had uh, some knowledge on the way things work. So you can find great girls out there. But again, I still think the city is an option that you shouldn't so quickly uh, overlook. Now, maybe a girl who has lived and worked in Manila her entire life in the busy city that might be a different story. Uh, but, you know, a girl who maybe was raised in Bacolod or Caguin de Oro or Davao still may carry a lot of those traditional values uh, and is just not in the really busy, busy metropolitan city. So, anyway, again, guys, uh, check out Christian Filipina. Great dating service. They can really help you with all your needs for finding a Filipina. And you can find their information in the link down in the description and also the pinned comment. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see everyone next time. Ciao.